What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. The family is joining me today. We're heading up Kelly's Toy Stop in Huntington Beach, California. Um, we just did an awesome family trip to Disneyland. It was fun, right? Yeah. And so we, on the way back to Santa, we decided to stop by Kelly's to, to see if we could find any cool toys to add to the collection. So uh, if you're new to the channel, first time tuning in, hit the subscribe button to keep up with future toys and videos. Also, you can go back and check out past videos. Uh, so we're gonna go in and check out the, the store. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Anything you guys are looking for? No, just toys, anything? Cool stuff. Yeah. Anything cool? <laughs> just, seeing. just seeing what they have, right? Yeah. Because you never know what they have in these places. Yeah. Uh, but we do know they have tons of toys. So let's come on in and join us for the toy hunt. <laughs> Here we have some carded New Adventures of He-Man figures. Very cool to see those. I love that a toy line. I have the original Skeletor and He-Man, but I don't have any other ones which I do want to pick up. Uh, something in the future. It's just a weird He-Man toy line. There you see some more in the back right there on card. And then we have some cool classic uh, multi vintage figures, even some bootleg stuff in there. 2000X castle right there and then I was kind of interested in these board games here you got a master universe and silver hawks board games uh, they were a little bit too much out of my price range so I pass on them here we got some GI Joe's got some, even got some comic books there in the back again I'm not a GI Joe collector but I do appreciate them I had so many of them when I was a kid very cool to see uh, G.I. Joe's here and the ones I really do uh, love and collect are the Street Fighter ones. I also want to get some of the more combat ones as well. And of course Vintage Turtles. Can have a shot without Vintage Turtles? You got a good selection here. Some of the Vintage Playmates and even got some NECA stuff in there as well. That Turtle Copter is one that is on my wish list for sure. Even got some video game related items here some old school retro games for you uh, video game collectors out there the N64 you got some DS original PlayStation games you got that Pong set which is cool and some Tiger handheld video games as well these uh, little miniature games were awesome I really wanted to pick some up but I think I forgot about them and <laughs> forgot to ask the price on those so this showcase here has a good mix of horror figures and sci-fi fantasy figures you got those alien puzzles and this right here this knickerbocker lord of the rings toy set is amazing this is a probably a holy this is probably a holy grail for lord of the rings collectors or 70s toys collectors those figures run a few hundred dollars a piece, especially if they're complete. More hard figures on here. They even got a Simpsons section here. A whole bunch of cool Simpsons items from the 90s right here. Old school stuff. You got coloring books, you got figures, bath soap, even pencils, Brave Star. Always a line uh, I've loved since I was a kid. The cartoon was cool as well, made by Filmation. Pee Wee's Playhouse, very crazy kids show, but fun to watch, especially now as an adult. It's crazy how that was on TV. And it was for kids, but it's just insane. And we got some more awesome toys here. You got a couple of Godzilla, some Battlestar Galactica items thrown in there as well. Plastic dinosaurs, trolls. One of my favorite 80s toy lines coming up here is the Secret Wars from Marvel. Hobgoblin is one that I still need to add to the collection, so I'm on the lookout for a complete one. That one was missing the glider. It does come with a glider. 
I was interested in these spider bikes. I had the spider bike in the copter already, but they came in a different car. Like, it was a box. Those look like they're on the blister pack, which was cool. I just have a variation of those. And you do have those right there. Those little die cast Spider Man vehicles. You have a couple of superpowers on car here, as well as the Hall of Justice. It's the awesome piece that place it right there. Definitely, if you have a superpowers collection, you need to have that for your display because it just makes this thing up big time and the WWF Hasbro section here you got a couple LJNs in there as well you got that Thunder Lips there from the Rocky movie that Hulk Hogan soap bottle was amazing I do need to get that for the collection I didn't ask how much it was that's the one thing some of these toys you can't see the prices on them so you have to ask the employee to open up the case and it can be kind of annoying when oh, you can't see the prices because you gotta keep calling them back and forth and then especially if you're not gonna pick it up and <laughs> they gotta close it back up as well so we got mask and then aerators here's one that I don't see very often I don't remember the last time I saw aerators and they have a nice little selection here of aerators which is cool and we got some more old school stuff in the 70s. We got Mork and Mindy and even Welcome Back Cotter toys. Vinny Barbarino, John Travolta. I used to watch that show when I was a kid on Nick at Night. Yes, I used to watch Nick at Night. I used to watch all those old school uh, shows when I was young. You got Zorro, MASH. MASH was one I did not watch, but I know it has a big following. Cops figures right there. Nice like some cops. T watch was really cool. And you got some more real Ghostbusters figures here. A couple muscle man thrown in there. That little muscle man uh, battle arena thing looks cool. And we got some uh, Forza T, Forza T figures. Uh, awesome bootlegs from the Labor of Argentina. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then you got a couple other. You know, playmates things in throwing like Mighty Ducks, you got Bucky O'Hare, Police Academy up here, Evil Knievel, like I said, there's lots of stuff just thrown in everywhere. Uh, it's organized, but I mean they fit a lot of things in these showcases. Thank you.
So one of the cool things about Kelly's Toy Shop that sets them apart from other vintage toy stores is that they have a big selection of girl toys here from the 80s especially. You saw their Care Bears, you got furry families from Playmates, you got Hello Kitty, and they got some other dolls. I don't even know what these scary dolls are from. Shirt tails, that playset's cool, that little engine. Like I said, like all these girl toy lines that I have no idea what they are, but they are cool. Uh, I don't know if there's any females watching or guys too. I know some guys collect female uh, toys. Uh, let me know what some of those are. If you uh, got a good look at them, you can always hit pause and check them out. Strawberry Shortcake is one of the toy lines I think is very cool. My girlfriend has a little collection she's working on it right now uh the playset for server shortcake it's pretty massive and it's, it's pretty expensive and rare to find complete but it's awesome and here we got these little neon looking toys i have no idea what they are if you know let me know and then of course my little pony and then we'll finish off here with checking out some of kelly's toy stuff you know, we got some Star Wars, vintage Star Wars here in the showcase. You even got some from Japan right there, the Takara Tomy figures. And you got a couple of vintage figures there, Luz. You, you even got a Tom Tom in the back with Luke Skywalker. Some of the 12 inch ones. I've recently picked up that C3PO in R2D2. And then the Ewoks Play School playset. Very cool playset. couple Ewok plushies and just a bunch of random stuff at the bottom like stamps and cards a lunchbox this radio control R2D2 is cool to see the box is there as well and then a whole bunch of carded vintage Star Wars figures so that is Kelly's Toy Stop I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the store definitely check them out if you're in the Huntington Beach area or visiting Southern California. out of Kelly's Toy Stop, a uh, cool little store. It's a small store, but they definitely have a lot of toys everywhere. They make use of their space. There's toys everywhere on the top, even on the ceiling, the bottom, lots of cool books even. Uh, and what's cool about Kelly's having a great uh, girls toy section, which is hard to find at other, at toy shops in general, especially vintage toy shops. You don't see a lot of the girl toys there, which I know a collector of 80s toys, it's good, right? <laughs> But uh, I myself did not find anything today, unfortunately. A lot of the stuff uh, that they have, they already have in the collection. So nothing for myself that I found. But they came away with us some stuff. Like a, Just a few. Yeah, she got a bag full, of, two bags full of stuff. You got one thing, right? Got it's a hot cool little Hot Wheel toy. This looks like an older Hot Wheel, maybe. But very cool. And then when we get home, we'll show you the rest of the stuff that she picked up. Oh, and also they have toys. Like cars in the back, cool McDonald's. Cool. So they got lots of uh, products. Yeah, Consumer they products. they got lots of stuff like McDonald's and Tropicana. Uh, Jolly Rancher. Hot Wheels trailers <laughs> in that set, but uh, yeah, we'll see you back at home, and I will show you her pickups. Back home in the toy room, I'm about to show you the pickups that my girlfriend got. Like I said, myself, I did not find anything I needed. It. To have for the collection uh, my son ended up picking up that Hot Wheels uh, trailer truck it was from like 1996 so it was cool it was an older Hot Wheel uh, Kelly's Toy Stop is a cool little vintage toy store in a uh, the area is in it's like a little old school German village which is awesome they have lots of little shops and uh, German food there to eat so if you're ever in Huntington Beach definitely stop by Kelly's 
It's right down the street from Knott's Berry Farm, maybe 15, 20 minute drive from Disneyland. So if anyone lives in the area or comes to visit uh, on a Disney trip, definitely stop by Kelly's if you're into vintage toys. You saw they have lots of cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of the store. It's small, but they pack it in in those display cases that have so many toys everywhere. Uh, and another big thing about Kelly's that's awesome, uh, it's, they have a lot of, she has a lot of vintage girl toys. So that's great. You don't really see that a lot of toy st stores. Uh, mostly you, you see it's just the boy toys, right? So that's cool. If you're into like girl toys, that's at the place to stop by. Strawberry Shortcake, Care Bears, uh, they have Barbies, which is cool. Uh, so let's get on to the pickups real quick. My girlfriend picked up, uh, there was a section where they had everything for cheap for like five bucks and under. So she ended up picking these up. Uh, one for my son. It's like to get autographs. Like when you go to Disneyland, you get these autographs of all the characters walking around. So she got that. She got a few of these uh, to give out to like her nephews and stuff. So that's a cool little pickup there. Those no normally sell for like uh, 16 20 dollars. Uh, she got this wallet here. <laughs> Disney wallet. It's like old school like maybe it's from the 80s or 90s i'm not really sure but it's cool it has like a little little vinyl wallet velcro so it's just some small little pickups got this bucket a cool hoth scene there with the ad at snow speeders right there and this is a disneyland so this is probably from a few years ago Popcorn bucket, little popcorn bucket from Disneyland, which is very cool. Cool little scene right there. They're always changing around the buckets there at Disneyland. So, my people go crazy from they got some very cool buckets. And then here's another set that she got brand new in the package it was this Aladdin figurine set. Very cool. I'm not sure what year this is from. Probably around the time the movie came out, so. But very cool, very minty. I believe it was, this was only like $5. And then the other pickup, which I think is the coolest pickup, is this Cabbage Patch Kid. Uh, these are little puzzle miniature figures they have. It's like a first edition. This is from 1984. Even got the birth certificate there in the back. So it's very cool, very minty, like I said. She does collect the 80s uh, female lines. Not all of them, but a lot of them, some of them. And I think we always find these like at thrift stores, like in the little baggies uh, that they put together full of toys. So that was probably, uh, I think is the coolest of her pickups, but very cool, 80s. Uh, and like I said, I didn't pick anything for myself, but I recently, maybe like two months ago, I picked up something off uh, Mercari, I believe it was, or eBay, I don't even remember. But I do have one pick up to show you. It wasn't from Kelly's, but it's one that you guys haven't seen yet. This is from the Robin Hood Kenner toy line. I got the battle wagon right here. This thing is massive. Check this out, guys. So I have to show you guys something I picked up recently that you guys haven't seen before. So got a great deal. It came, you got the ladder here, it has all the Came with these little catapults here in the rocks, which is awesome. Here's another one. So all this was included. It's complete, it's mint. So this is probably a, a set. This could be a vehicle and a play set. So, you know, we're doing year of the play sets, right? It's the year ain't over yet. So these actually come off and you can build like a little fort for the figures, which is cool. This. You, know, you spin this thing on top and it lowers this front part right here, which is awesome. Then you got the little battering ram right there. Very cool. This, of course, is a reused toy from the Ewoks line, Star Wars Ewoks line. Uh, the Ewoks one is a battle wagon. The Ewoks battle wagon has a big skull right here with tusks, which is awesome. And then I believe this is white and i don't think it has the shields on the ewoks one but very similar you can use this with your robin hood figures or with the ewoks one of course the price difference is it's it's big so big price difference the ewoks one sells for like 
maybe five hundred dollars on average complete this one i picked up for like 40 bucks which is not bad and it came with these uh, catapults which is awesome i mean you can't beat that and i love the robin hood line i think now the only thing i'm missing from that toy line is the play set uh, the treehouse place of which of course is also recycled from the vintage star wars ewoks uh village so except the rum hole one they put treetops on top which is cool so i i do need that and hopefully i can pick that up soon because i have all the figures already all the other little uh little vehicles they did i think it was like a like a net launcher and some other ones i have those already and then now i added this one so what do you guys think this could be a play set I'll throw some pictures up here. You can see how it is, how it looks like when you remove these and you make a little fort, which is cool. So that is my pickup that I got recently. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's Twinton video. Uh, hopefully on the next one, I can find something at the toy stores. I always like to pick up something at these shops because I go in there and they're, they're nice. They let me film uh, so I can show you guys all these toy stores that you may not have been able to visit or you might get some ideas to go visit them in the future. Uh, but thanks again for watching everybody. Thanks for all the support. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave some comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, that's the number one thing you can do to support the channel, help it grow. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I always get back to all you guys in the comments. So please uh, also follow me on Instagram at SoCalShawlin to keep up with what I'm doing in between videos. And you can see what's going on with what my future tutorials are going to be. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you on the next one hunt. Good luck on everyone's toy hunts out there. I hope you guys are looking for the toys that you want and you find them at great prices. All right, guys. Catch you next time. I am out.